Welcome back to Don't Just Sit There, Do Something for climate science news and easy ways to help. I'm Joylette Portlock, and today we're going to focus on the sun. You are not supposed to look directly at the sun. You mean we're going to talk about solar power. Just about all the energy we use comes ultimately from the sun. Even fossil fuels are really just stored energy from living things that grew millions of years ago using energy from the sun. That's totally going to be the next ad from the fossil fuel industry. Through the recent reports from the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change and the National Climate Assessment released in April, the scientific community has again issued dire warnings about man-made climate instability, not just in some distant future, but happening right now. Solar power as a source of clean energy means getting power direct from the source without having to wait a few million years for the energy to fossilize, then dig it up, transport it, refine it, and then burn the fuel. Doing all that with coal, oil, and natural gas is wasteful, unsustainable, and requires a hefty price in terms of cleanup and climate. Cleaner energy sources would also mean reductions in other unhealthy air pollutants, like soot and smog. By contrast, what do you call a solar spill? A nice day. Did you just make a joke? And unlike depending on coal, oil, or natural gas, we're not going to run out of sunlight anytime soon. There was more new solar generating capacity installed in the U.S. in 2013 than wind, oil, coal, and nuclear power combined. But solar is still only some teensy percent of our energy supply, right? 1% as of 2013. But costs continue to fall. There's a couple different ways we can get solar power solar photovoltaic by using solar panels that transform the sun's radiation directly into electricity. These panels can be put just about anywhere. There's also solar thermal energy, which uses mirrors to concentrate the sun's heat and power a steam turbine. Amazingly managing to be both hot and cool. Let's not forget passive solar heating design for buildings and solar hot water heaters, which work even in cold regions and can cut your water heating bills by up to half. Germany, a nation half the size of Texas, has almost three times our installed solar capacity and gets more than a quarter of its energy from renewable sources, proving that renewable energy is a realistic option for an industrialized economy today. This map shows U.S. solar potential. We're really only getting sun and like, Arizona. I'm not seeing how solar is a national answer here. What? Wait, what? That's Germany? On a sunny Sunday this May, Germany reported getting just shy of three quarters of their energy from renewable sources. More solar energy hits the earth in about an hour and a half than all of humanity uses in a year. That's tight. I'd high five the sun right now if it wouldn't, you know, vaporize me. I wish I had solar power. If you'd like cleaner energy, don't just sit there, do something. There are lots of resources out there to help with both the logistics and the financing for solar power, so if you've got a surface waiting for you to put solar on it, check the links below. Local solar events and initiatives are popping up across the nation. On June 21st, do Something News is headed to Allegheny Solar Fest. How about a solar powered clothes dryer? As we've mentioned, clothes dryers are energy hogs using 4% of household energy and creating 35 million tons of carbon pollution a year nationally. Start drying at least some of your laundry on a line or on drying racks even indoors. Secondly, on June 2nd, President Obama, through the EPA, took his biggest step yet to stopping climate change, proposing a rule to cut U.S. carbon pollution from existing power plants 30% by 2030. The plan uses a state-by-state -state approach rather than a power plant-by-power -power plant approach, allowing states economic flexibility to meet limits, scale up renewable power, and reduce electricity demand. EPA's clean power plan can't be finalized until after it goes through a public comment period. Click the link below. It takes just a few seconds to tell EPA how much you support this critical new rule. Tell EPA that you support cleaner energy and use solar power, especially for your laundry. In other words, don't just sit there. Don't just sit there. Don't just sit there. Do something. Next time, join us as we dive in to a discussion on ocean acidification. You can follow the show on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Google+, iTunes, or on the web at djst.tv. So watch again and tell your friends. For real, America, get in the game. That's just embarrassing.